If you're trying to figure out how to add non-Steam games to your Steam library so that it's a little more consolidated and you can just click them all in one place, then go ahead and follow along because this is the guide for you. So first you're going to pull up Steam and you're going to go to the top here and you're going to hit games and then you're going to go to add a non-Steam game to my library. When this window comes up, it says add a game in the top left corner. You're going to have a whole list of stuff and there's going to be a bunch of little check boxes. So you're going to find the game or games that you want to add to your Steam library and you're going to check them off. And then when you're done checking them off, you're going to hit add selected programs. So for me, let's say I want to add SWAT 4. We're just going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to hit add selected programs. And then there we go. We have SWAT 4. So that was pretty quick and easy, and that's good, but it's not always that quick and easy. Sometimes there are little hiccups, and I'm gonna show you some of those, so that way if any of those happen, you're gonna be able to know what they are and how to fix them real quick and easy. So let's say you go over to add a game to Steam, and it's not on this list, so you have to go and find it manually. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to browse, and this little window is gonna open up. It's just a file explorer window. But what we're going to need to know is where the game that you want to add to Steam actually is on your computer. So there we go. Here's what it is. I know that RedGuard is on my GOG account. Now GOG is one of these uh, launchers that you can actually right click and you can find your folder for the game. So I'll right click on the game, go to manage installation, and then go to show folder. And what I get is this, a file explorer window and it's already on the folder for RedGuard. So in here, see this right here? It says launch RedGuard, and it's a shortcut. Now what you're gonna try and find is sometimes it'll be an application. See how that says application? Now that doesn't mean that that's the game. See, clearly that's a different file, but it can be an application. So it's like a uh, .exe would be an application, or you have something like this where it's a shortcut. So since this one says launch red guard and it's a shortcut, I'm like, okay, that's the one that I'm looking for. And that's the one that I want to use. So what I need to do is open up that little file explorer window for steam. And I need to copy this pathway. So what I'm going to do is click right here in this little white area one time. And all of that will get highlighted and I'm going to right click copy. You can also hold control and click C. That'll copy as well. And then you're going to come over here exactly in the same place. Like this is the same over here. So all I got to do is click right here. Just hit backspace. And then I'll go ahead and either right click and paste or control V. And then once I have that, I'll hit enter. And you can see how this is the same folder now. So if I scroll up a little bit, see, and I can see that it's generally the same files. There might be a few different ones that like aren't showing, but it's the same place. So now that we have this, we're gonna go ahead and click launch red guard, not twice, we're just gonna highlight it. And then we're gonna hit open. We're gonna go ahead and close this one because this wasn't the steam window. This was just the other file explorer. So now we have this C D GOG games, red guard. And then for some reason it says DOS box. So this highlights another problem where we're going to go ahead and fix it. So that way, if you encounter this, you already know what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and that's highlighted. That's red guard. And we're going to add selected programs. We're going to close down GOG right there. So for some reason it says launch settings. So we're going to right click and hit properties. And we're going to call that red guard because we know that's red guard. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, yeah, hit X. And then we hit play so we can check if it works. And no, it doesn't work. But that's the whole thing. This is the problem that I knew was going to come up. The pathway that the computer is finding is not true to where it needs to be. It has a general idea right now, but we're gonna have to fine tune that to actually find the precise file that we wanna execute. So we're gonna go right here and right click and hit properties. 
and we're gonna get this little window again this target right here this is how it works the target think about it this way we are going to guide the computer to the target using the pathway so the pathway says okay d so the d drive i'll go ahead and pull up an example using file explorer um i'll go to this pc here we go i have four hard drives so we'll look at it this way you have d drive so that's where we're going to start it knows to go there so now it's in d drive and it says now go to gog games that's what we've told the computer to do so it goes to gog game yeah gog games folder and now we need it to go to red guard and it's like okay cool so it looks through here and it finds red guard and goes to it now the whole problem with this is it's now executing going through DOSBox folder and then executing the DOSBox application. That is not what we want it to do. So we followed the little path there. And what we're going to do is delete a little bit. Do not delete these little quotations on the front and end of this, but we're going to delete all the way up to this little backslash here after red guard. And we're going to go into the red guard folder. And we are going to click once on launch red guard. And then we're going to wait a few seconds and we're going to click it once again. So that way it does that. And we're going to right click and copy. And then we're just going to click somewhere like over here. So that way it goes back to normal. And we'll come over here. And just after that little backslash, you want to right click or control V, whatever, and paste launch red guard see how that works whoa where is dos box from oh i did it on the wrong line don't do what i just did that was the wrong line what am i doing here we go up here there we are make sure you put it on the correct one starting is a different thing so now we've got it don't do what i just did make sure you correct it and do it on target okay so you're gonna hit x and now we're gonna hit X here and hit play. So that's two games down. One was easy, one was a little bit tougher and we even had to fix some of the pathing so that way it would be able to find and execute the game properly. But we got them knocked out, so moving on. Now we're gonna talk about if you can't right click it and find folder or show folder, like we just did with red guard so like when we came here and we hit show folder and we got this little window that's not always the option that you have because with like let's say epic game store it doesn't give me that option i right click i don't get anything or i hit these little dots and there's there's no find folder show folder nothing so what we're gonna have to do in this case is we're gonna have to locate where you save your games to and a sort of easy way to figure that out is to hit install on one of your games and it goes uh f games not from steam okay so it looks like that's where my games are going to default save to as of my settings so if i were to open up another file explorer and i go to this pc i go to f and i go to games not from steam oh okay that's everything we have right here so that's perfect so now what game do we want to add to steam let's say train sim world 2 okay so there we go we're gonna have that path we're gonna right click and uh copy or we're gonna control c either way and then we're gonna minimize that now we're gonna go over to steam hit games add a non-steam game to steam or to my library whatever you're gonna go up here click that and delete and then you're gonna control v or just right click and paste and then you're just gonna hit enter and you see how you got that now you're gonna hit this one this is a great example this one's not a shortcut this is an application but train simulator 2 prototype so you're gonna go ahead and click that and you're gonna hit open so it adds it to the list and then you hit add selected programs
So there you go, it works. And um, in all honesty, I just want you to keep in mind, this is basically just a shortcut. It's, it's not like they're gonna launch from Steam. When you click it, it's just gonna launch from whatever other launcher it was on. So if it's an Epic Games store game, it's just gonna launch it from Epic, but it keeps everything kind of consolidated. You can keep track of all your games better and you know have one big list, I guess. So that's pretty cool. So real quick before I go, um, all the games that you add on this way will not have artwork. And this one right here, I did myself to kind of show you can do some stuff. So that way it looks decent, but that's for another video. So don't worry about the way it looks now. We can work on that. I hope you enjoyed. As always, I'm Ty, and this has been The Tech Bum. I'll catch you guys on the next one.